My name is Mark Chappell. I'm a researcher at the University of Manchester in the Aerospace Engineering Department. I guess the main gist of my research is looking at how we can make aircraft more green and we're particularly looking at uh, specific types of technologies that can go onto an aircraft wing in order to help offset the drag and therefore make it more greener by making it more fuel efficient. One of the types of technologies we're looking at is something called a synthetic jet, um, which is a little device which can blow air out of it. And the idea is basically putting many of these on an aircraft wing, we can replace the function of what a conventional flap would do and therefore help potentially the aircraft to save weight and to reduce the fuel burn and make it more greener. There's been technologies which have been developed in the past. Um, one good example is the, the riblet. Now the riblet is basically mimicking shark skin. And it's known that sharks are actually very fast in the sea and the reason for this is that their skin gives them the ability to reduce drag with these sort of riblets or grooves in their skin. Um, the technology has already been developed and actually used in speedo swimwear, uh, which a lot of athletes are using. And it's also been demonstrated on a trial for an aircraft as well to reduce drag. I think having a career in science or engineering is very important because if you look around in our today's society, all the things that we take for granted and depend on, the lighting, the electricity for computers and so forth, it's all been developed and designed by scientists and engineers and those innovations, those innovators we're going to need in the future for our next society that comes along and whatever we may be using then at that time. And so it is vitally important that we encourage scientists and engineers to carry on doing what they're doing and to promote the next new generation. My dad was into engineering and encouraged me in that field, but actually I already had an interest in science and engineering at school and particularly uh, a work experience I went to do at Rolls-Royce Aerospace really got me engaged with the whole aerospace engineering thing and actually getting on site and talking with the engineers there and seeing actually it's really interesting work that they're doing, it's not all very boring as the picture might present sometimes. That I think really turned it on for me and um, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing today. 